Okay, for the final problem 15, I picked a doozy for you. We're going to determine if the two functions are inverses of one another. In other words, if I take the inverse of this, do I get g of x? If I took the inverse of g of x, do I get this f of x? Well, let's see. Well, what we should do, and we know the rule is, hey, if we do a composition of functions, if I plug g of x into f of x, it'd be the same as g of f of x, and this answer should always give us an x. Well, let's see. Let's do that. Let's do this composition function. So we're going to take the g of x function, this, and plug it into the f function. Okay, so I'm going to take the f, and I'm plugging in the g of x, which is x minus 3 plus 4 on the outside. And I'm plugging it into my f function here. So let's do it. That x becomes all of this. Square root of x minus 3 plus 4. And then what do we have? I almost messed up. Silly me. So I replace that with all of this. And then it has minus 4. So I put minus 4. Then it has a squaring. Then it says plus 3. So I took all of what it had, then subtracted the 4, then squared it plus 3. Looks crazy, but it's not. Because plus 4 minus 4 does what? That goes away. And so here's all you have. You have an x minus 3 square root squared plus 3. Wait a second. If you square a square root, doesn't it just disappear? Yes, which leaves you with x minus 3 plus 3 which gives you an answer of x. So, hey, these guys are inverses because when I plug the g of x function into the f of x function, I get an answer of x.